Judy. All right, Jamie McIntyre at the Pentagon. Now quickly back to Aaron. Judy, thanks. I'm just going to stay off to the side here and allow the camera to stay focused on the scene. We, we're keeping our eye on that gray building in I wish I could see the monitor better. Let me just look at it in roughly the, the tallest building I think you can see. Gary Tuckman, who has been down on the ground and, in fact, one of the few civilians into the ground zero area. Uh, Gary, can you hear me? Gary Tuckman, are you able to hear me now? Aaron, I hear you fine. I, I want to tell you, an hour and 15 minutes ago, as you said, I was at ground zero with one to 2,000 rescue and recovery workers at the scene. They are all being evacuated as we speak. Most of them are now gone because of that one Liberty Plaza building, which is just to the east of the World Trade Center complex. We have talked to rescue workers who tell us they saw the building starting to twist and then said they saw some windows starting to break. Well, we're, we're, we are seeing the windows breaking from where we're standing. We can see the windows falling out or facing falling out. Okay, you have another angle, and you certainly have a better angle than me, because from our angle, we're to the north of the building. We haven't seen the windows, so that's interesting information. I want to tell you, Aaron, that there are a lot of people who are at the site who are very frightened by that, because they had told us while we were there that they were quite worried about one or two of the buildings surrounding the World Trade Center complex. They had told us that while we were there, and now they're living through it. We can also tell you the media has been pushed back several blocks also from the perch that we were at about four blocks away from the World Trade Center complex. Gary, if you can, and if you can't, just quickly say so. Orient me here. I'm standing here looking at what was Building 7. I look to my left, to the east. The tall gray building, I believe, is One Liberty Plaza. Do I have this right? You have it absolutely right, Aaron. The tall gray building is One Liberty Plaza. There was some confusion initially because across from One Liberty Plaza is a hotel called the Millennium Hotel. Some people thought that was the building in question. That building apparently is not in danger of collapse. It's the One Liberty Plaza, the tall gray building. Okay, and now also, just stay with me, Gary, if you will, please. Uh, what was left of the South Tower, uh, the World Trade Center, the South Tower was the second of those towers that was uh, struck yesterday by the plane. What was left of it collapsed upon itself uh, a bit ago, a while ago. Whether that impacted the One Liberty Plaza building, whether that made it more unstable or not, I, we just don't know. It's hard, uh, to, it's hard to tell, Aaron, but as I was telling you while we were talking in our last hour, those pillars from that South Tower looked very precarious. It looked like Stonehenge in Salisbury, England, the way it was standing up. It looked precarious. They were very concerned about that. So people are not surprised that happened. I also want to tell you one other thing about One Liberty Plaza. It is set up to be the triage unit. But unfortunately, there's not a problem with evacuating it right now because they haven't found any survivors recently to put in the triage unit. All right. That's One Liberty Plaza. Uh, let's do this. Let, let's just keep an eye on this for, uh, for a bit. Among the, the businesses in One Liberty Plaza, uh, the, the corporate offices, the executive offices of the NASDAQ, uh, the stock markets, Wall Street is right here uh, in this part of town. Uh, Moneyline anchor Lou Dobbs joins us now. Uh, while there has been no trading here, there has been business going on around the world, and Lou can update us now on that. Lou? Aaron, thank you very much. Indeed, the building you're looking at, the, uh, the new headquarters of the uh, NASDAQ, it, uh, like uh, the World Trade Center towers themselves in the heart of downtown Manhattan, which is the heart of the world's financial capital.